Hi guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. So today we are going to discuss another ETL testing interview question. So we are going to discuss about below question. Okay, this is the question which they have given. So generally we have a table, employee table, which contains ID as well as first name, middle name and last name. Okay, the output which they are expecting, right? Whenever we have this kind of data, for example, if you see first, first row, Ravinda, and after that we do have a ready and Kauri. This is nothing but a three columns which we have a values. Okay, if you see, we have three values. And after that, first, first name is Nal and Madan and Rudrapu. And third row, which you see, Nal value here, and here also Nal value, and last name is having Gadde. And when it comes to fourth row, we see a static ETL testing and last name is null okay and when we see here ramesh null after the first name is ramesh and middle name and last name is null okay same thing with the ragu okay ragu is having first name is ragu and middle name is null and last name is Gadda. and when it comes to last row you see first name is null and middle name is big data testing and last name is null so considering this kind of different different combinations of data Okay, the output which they are expecting from us, okay, whenever you write the query, they are expecting if the values are there, just go ahead and do the underscore after that concatenate it. First name, underscore, here you can see, first name is Ravindra, underscore, ready, underscore, Kauri. This is the way they are expecting the output. If the value is null is present here, okay, then they are expecting, ignore the null value and whatever the value is there, just go ahead and do the underscore. Madan underscore Rudrapu. When it comes to third row, here you see null value, null value. And after that, Gadda is there. Just go ahead and take only Gadda. Ignore the null value. Here we don't see any underscore. At the same time, if you see fourth row, assertic underscore, assertic ETL testing is the last value is null. So what we are going to do, assertic underscore ETL testing. We are going to do that. It means it's kind of last value. We are ignoring null. And at the same time, Ramesh. Ramesh is having first name is Ramesh. And rest of the columns are null. So considering Ramesh. At the same time, Raghu underscore. After that, null value is there and Gadda is there. We are going to ignore the null. And Raghu underscore Gadda. When it comes to here, last value is null. After that, last name is null. And middle name is big data test. We are going to keep it as this way. So how we are going to write this query in SQL. So the expectations you are clear as well as the event input data also you are clear. How are we going to achieve this? So first try to understand this combinations, how it works first of all. So if you can go ahead and understand this combination, right? First try to understand this combination. If you see here, whenever you have map values, okay, what is the important thing is you are going to do the first name underscore and after that you have to do the last name first name plus underscore last name plus underscore middle name you have to concatenate like this second combination second combination what is that you need to ignore the first name middle name and last name you have to concatenate it and third combination here you need not to do anything concatenation directly you populate as last name when it comes to here fourth row you can see here first name and middle name you need to concatenate and fifth row you have to just directly populate as first name and sixth row what you have to do first name and last name you have to concatenate it and you have to ignore the middle name and last combination is nothing but a middle name you have to populate it so how we, how can we write this data how can we write this query in sql so by seeing this do we see it's a if else clauses? So if you wanted to perform if else clauses, what is the thing which you have to do? You have to use the case condition. Case condition. First, take these combinations into the SQL developer and then we'll write the SQL. First, we'll take it here. Okay. Then we'll write the SQL. So first, we'll query the table first. First, before going to query, first, we, we need to create the table, right? Let's go ahead and create the table, whatever the data which we talked about it. Just go ahead and create this data. First, ignore this. Then, first, create the data. First, create the table. 
here. Then after that, we are going to insert the data by using insert all. So this particular script is going to be available in the description of the video. Just go ahead and copy paste if you wanted to practice it. And after that, just go ahead and query the table here. Select star from. Here you can see data is available. Whatever we talked about it, we see that. And other than that, additionally, I have added here employee ID column. So now, what is the important thing which we have to do? We have to write the combinations and then we have to go ahead and write the SQL for that. Okay. Let's write the SQL for this. Okay. So how can we do that? See, this is these are the combinations which we have to do that. First, select employee ID, EMP ID. Then after that, case condition, case when, okay, case when first name is not null, is not null. And okay, then second thing is middle name also is not null, is not null. And last name also you need to say okay you need to do is not null which means if the three columns are not null okay then what you have to do you have to perform the below action what is the action you have to do that okay let's do it okay what is the thing first name okay first name okay then character operator i'm using pipe symbol to make it easier way okay instead of multi Right. It's kind of, you know, instead of doing a lot of times concat, concat, it's kind of nested concat, better we can go with the character operator. And after that, we do have a middle name. Okay, then after that, again, pipe symbol, underscore, this one, and then we are going to use the last name, last name here. Okay, next condition. Immediately, what is the next condition we are going to use? Just go here. Okay, what is the condition when? Okay, just we'll go with the here. Just we'll eliminate this space so that we'll understand the combination. When first name is null. Okay, first name is null. Okay, is null and middle name and last name is not null. And just we can copy paste this. Okay, middle name and middle name. Let me write it up. Okay, instead of copy paste, middle name is not null is not null and last name also is not null is not null then what is the thing we have to do what is the combination middle name plus last name we have to do that such cases what is the thing middle name okay concat here we have to use single quotes remember this it is a string you are appending underscore okay in between that is the reason you are going to use the this underscore within the single quotes and this combination is done and what is the next combination when okay when first name and first name and middle name is null okay see copy paste this first name and just copy paste this directly from here to here okay directly okay just we we'll go with the First name is null and second middle name is also null. Last name is not null. Then do we need to perform anything here? Directly we can populate as last name here. Last name here. And again when, okay, next what is the condition? First name is not null. Okay. First name, is, let's copy paste this. Okay, entire thing. Copy paste this. First name is null. Okay, first name is not null. Okay. And second thing is, okay, Second thing is first name is not null, middle name is not null, but last name is null. Then what we have to do? What we what is the action we have to take it up? First name and middle name we have to concat. Okay, first name and middle name we have to concat. Okay, how we are going to concat? Just first name. Okay, and five symbols and single quotes underscore single quote after that again and middle name middle name. Here you are going to do the middle name. Next, what is the combination? Only first name is having value, rest of the values are null, which means what is that? First name is not null when first name is not null. Okay, and middle name is null, middle name is null, and last name also is null. 
Now, then we have to populate as first name directly. Next, when, when, okay, first name is, first name is not null, okay, and middle name is, middle name is null, and last name is not null, not null. Then, what is the thing which we have to do? First name, okay, then first name, and pipe symbol, comma, single quotes, underscore, again pipe symbol, Okay, then what is the thing we have to do? We have to do the last name because see here, first name is not null and last name is not null. Then what is the last thing? Okay, when first name is null, okay, and middle name is not null, middle name is not null, and last name is null. Then what is the thing we have to do? Only middle name is not null. Then we'll go ahead and say that middle name. And finally, what we have to do? Else, okay. Else, NA, okay. Null values populated. Null values are there. Just we populate as null values. Just we can populate as three columns, null values. Just we'll say that null values. Okay. And end as, what is the thing is here? We say that full name. We say that full name. From which table? Which table we have created here? What is the table? Employee names. Employee names here. Just go ahead and see here. Go ahead and see the output. Can you see here? Whatever we are expecting here, Ravindra Reddy Kori, Madan Rudrapu Gadde, SR Tech ETL testing, Ramesh, Raghu Gadde, Big Data testing. See here. Here you can see Ravinda Reddy Kovari, Madan Rudrapu, and Gadda. Here you can see whatever the thing which you are expecting, same thing we have done. By what? By using the case condition. And we have to form the we have to form the conditions. How we have to form based on the number of combinations which is going to come, based on that, how interviewer is giving. According to that, you have to think through it and you have to define the combinations, then you have to do concatenation. So if I summarize this, okay, it's a case along with the null value handling, case along with the null value, wherever null is there, we are not going to populate that column. If the non-null values are there, okay, then we are concatenating all the columns. First case, first name, middle name, and last name, because three values are there. Second case, middle name and last name is having values. Then we are concatenating using underscore. Third case, we are populating only last name because first name and middle name is having values, not well, not having values. And when it comes to fourth combination, first name is having value as well as middle name also having value. Then we are concatenating here. When it comes to fifth case, only first name is having value. Rest of the columns are not having values. And sixth case, if you see first name and last name is having values, but middle name is not having. That is the reason we are ignoring that. And the last name we do have a only middle name is there. So if I summarize this, okay, just to whenever you the interviewer is giving question, right? You have to understand the combinations, how many combinations which is going to come as part of the this particular query. According to that, you have to apply the case condition. Okay. Thank you for watching and subscribing us. And here you see that the, the output and here you see the query as well. And I'm going to copy paste this input as well as the query, okay, creation of table as well as inserting the data and select query. Along with that, I'm going to even copy paste the SQL as well in the description. If you wanted to do that, you can copy paste and practice in Oracle 11G. Thank you guys. And we are going to start new batch on 8th of October, please, if you are looking for the ETL testing training, then go ahead and join us demo in the 8th of October with the 8 o'clock morning. Thank you guys. Thank, thanks for watching.